This video provides a demonstration of the proper procedure for the removal of a lead-free EGAN FET die from a printed circuit board. This video will present the necessary ESD precautions that must be taken throughout the process, the workstation and supplies needed, the proper method for preheating the PCB and the use of a hot air gun to heat the top side of the die, the removal of the die from the PCB, the cleaning of the die area from which the die was removed, and finally, the inspection of the board following die removal. It is important that the proper ESD measures, workstation, and supplies be set up prior to the start of the die removal procedure. ESD precautions must be used throughout the entire process. The heat plate station and hot air gun must be properly grounded. Anti-static work mat must be used and wrist straps and anti-static coat must be worn at all times. A method for preheating the underside of the PCB must be available. A hot air gun is used for heating the top side of the EGAN FET so that it can be safely removed from the solder. Stainless steel tweezers are used to handle the die during die removal only. Wicking braid, isopropyl alcohol, and lint-free wipes are needed for cleaning the board after the die has been removed. An X-Acto knife or scalpel will be used to remove the underfill. In the event the die is encased in underfill, load the board onto a holding device such as a vise and focus on the die location under a microscope. Gently remove the underfill using an X-Acto knife or scalpel. Pay careful attention not to damage the solder mask on the PCB while removing the underfill. Now we are ready to begin the removal of the die. Remember, it is critical that ESD precautions be used throughout the entire process for both the operator and the equipment. Place the board on a heating plate and place the temperature sensor of the heat plate on the board. Begin heating the board to a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. Turn on the hot air gun and set to 150 degrees Celsius with near minimum airflow to prevent the die from blowing away. Center the nozzle of the hot air gun over the die to be removed. The hot air gun will be used to heat the solder holding the die. Hold the air gun about 1 16th of an inch above the top of the die and set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius for 45 seconds. Raise the temperature of the gun to 240 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. Increase the temperature of the gun to 260 degrees Celsius for the final time for no less than 12 seconds and no longer than 15 seconds. After 12 seconds, using the stainless steel tweezers, the die can be lifted from the board. Raise the hot air gun holder above the board. Move the hot air gun away from the board. Turn off the hot air gun and place it on its own holder. Do not place the hot air gun on the heat plate. Using wicking braid and a soldering iron, remove the solder from the pads by sweeping in the same direction as the pads. Allow the board to cool. Remove the board from the heat plate and place in a vise for cleaning. Continue to use ESD precautions throughout the die removal process. Clean any flux that may be on the board using the flux cleaning pen. Wipe the area clean with a lint-free wipe and isopropyl alcohol and allow to dry. Maintaining ESD precautions, inspect the board under a microscope to make certain that it is acceptable for mounting a new EGAN FET. In general, look for damaged pads, damaged solder mask, damage from overheating, and underfill residue. Make repairs if necessary to the solder mask using the green acrylic pen. As an overview, this video presented the necessary ESD precautions that must be taken throughout the process, the workstation and supplies needed to remove a die, the preheating of the PCB and the use of a hot air gun on the top side of the die, the removal of the die, the cleaning of the die area on the PCB, and the visual inspection of the board. For reference, as you undertake the removal of the EGAN die, please refer to our Quick Reference Procedure Guide 
and remember to use ESD precautions throughout the process.